So many creators use CapCut, but unfortunately they made some essential features pro, like enhanced audio and the background removal. These previously free features were exactly what made CapCut so popular, and we need them all to create awesome videos that stand out, and most importantly, to enhance our audio so our viewers can hear us clearly, even when filming in noisy environments. So if you want to see how you can still use these pro features for free and download your videos without CapCut's pro watermark, keep watching because I'm going to show you a workaround on how to use these two most popular pro features inside of the CapCut app. And these will work for most of the CapCut's pro features and I'm going to show you how to remove the background and add one just like this and even how to clear the audio with the pro feature. Now for this tutorial I am using an iPhone 14 with the mouse connected so you can clearly see my actions. But don't worry if you're using an Android phone, the process is identical. So we're going to edit this video I shot on my iPhone in my bedroom and as you can see this isn't my actual bedroom background and my voice sounds clearer than it did originally because I achieved this using the pro features and I'm going to show you step by step how I edited this video. So keep watching because you don't want to miss anything. So first we'll add a picture for our video's background. I'll choose an image I've already downloaded and import it to my timeline. Now the first thing I want to do is to expand this to about 1 minute or so to approximately match my video recording length. Next, I want to add the video I shot with my phone. For this, just tap on overlay and add overlay to bring the video that I shot in my bed. Now my video recording is on top of the picture, but look at this, how awkward this looks. It's because the picture I downloaded has a different aspect ratio than the video I shot with my phone. And to simply fix this, I want to make sure that I have nothing selected on my timeline. Then on the bottom menu, I will scroll to find the aspect ratio and I will set it to 16 by 9, which is the format of the video that I recorded on my phone and is the same for YouTube long form videos. And if you want to avoid this step, make sure to always download images that are already formatted to 16 by 9. Now to fix our background, tap on the background, not on the video, and now use two fingers to expand it until the two white lines appear on the side. If you want to see what's actually happening, you can always make your video overlay a little bit smaller so you can see the background better. Now that we have a better look for our background, Let's expand it and place it exactly how we want the background to look like in our video. Next, we want to ensure our overlay and background picture are the same length. For this, I'm going to the beginning of the timeline and position the video from the start. Then I move to the end of the timeline and adjust the background's length accordingly. Now here's a pro tip. In order to make your videos look more professional, CapCut often adds this small clip to the end. So let's remove it by tapping on it and hitting the delete button below. Now let's adjust the background to match the video's length. And now we're finally ready to start editing. I'm going to increase a little bit the overlaid video so we can see what we're doing more clearly. Using two fingers, I'll expand the video. Now let's move on to removing the background for the video I shot with my phone. For this, we'll use the Remove Background Pro feature. And you can access it for free by tapping on it and it will be automatically removing the background. Now, depending on the length of your video, removing the background may take a little time. But once it's done, click the check mark icon in the top right. You'll notice that the Pro logo appears at the top indicating you've used one of the pro features. But don't worry about this, I promised you a workaround and we'll get to that soon. Now let's expand the video overlay so it matches our background. And let's say this is how we want our video to look. And to make it more professional, even if you don't have a fancy camera, or the latest iPhone that can shoot cinematic footage in 4K, you can simply apply a simple blur to the background. And to do this, simply select the background. At the bottom, tap on Effects, then Video Effect. Now to make it easier to find, I will type in the search bar Blur and tap on it to add the blur to the entire background. But we want our blur to affect only the background, so let's delete this. And there you have it. The blur effect is applied only to the background. And if you want to make it more realistic, let's go back to the blur effect and adjust it. And for this, we reduce the intensity so the background is clearer, allowing you to see that I'm actually in a room. And now we're ready to export our video. 
And to do this, we'll use the screen recording feature built into our phone. In my case, I will have to swipe from the top, tap play and screen record the entire video from start to finish. So to make this process faster, I won't show you the whole process here, but this is the first step for getting your video with the custom background. However, you're not done yet, because now we have the screen recording of our video playing inside of CapCut and we want to isolate only the edited video. For this, I will cancel this project and open up a new project in CapCut where I will import the screen recording. The next thing we want to do is to tap on the video and look for the transform tool at the bottom. Tapping on it, then tap on resize. From here, select 16 by 9 and drag the video so the cutout fits perfectly over the video I edited earlier. And once I'm happy with the position, I tap on the check mark on the top right. Now that we've made the cutout, we need to adjust the aspect ratio. But to do this, make sure you don't have the video selected. Then search for aspect ratio at the bottom and tap on 16 by 9 and boom. We now have our video without the pro logo showing up at the top. However, we're still not quite finished. Because I would like to make the video look more sharp, I will select the video and look for the adjust option in the bottom and tap on it because I want to make the video look clearer. Now, before we go forward, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to level up your editing skills this year. Because I'll be creating more videos like this one to help you make better YouTube content and edit faster on your own. Now to make this video clearer, we need to sharpen it. So scroll right to the sharpen tool and thankfully this feature is free in CapCut. So tapping on it allows me to adjust between blur and sharpen. Do you see the difference? Here is blur. And here is sharpen. Which one do you like better? Write me in the comments. Let's set it somewhere around the 16 mark. We now have our video with a custom background that we blurred and a sharp video that's clearly visible. And notice that there is no pro logo at the top. So now you know how to change your background with a picture, but this also works if you choose to put a video instead of this picture. So the final product can be exported in any resolution and shared on social media. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is how to enhance your audio. But before that please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to keep learning more awesome editing tricks like this. Because I'll be sharing more tutorials like this so you won't need to search all over the internet for tips anymore. So in order to enhance our audio using CapCut's Pro feature, let's download the video I just edited on my phone. Keep in mind that the enhanced audio is also a CapCut Pro feature but you can use it and download your video for free. So click on the video and select the enhanced voice feature at the bottom and then switch it on to let it work its magic. Clearing the background noise and making your voice stand out. But have you noticed that as soon as I activate this feature, the pro logo appears at the top. So you know CapCut is processing your audio through its pro feature. And once the processing is complete, we'll use our phone screen recording feature again. Yes, that's right, I'm going to use the screen recording, but this time for the voice. But before you start to screen record your voice, make sure your phone's volume is set to maximum. This way you won't struggle to raise it later. So let me play the whole video from the beginning to end while it is screen recording. And once it's done, I'm going to stop the screen recording. And next I'll tap on the same video and go to the enhanced voice to turn off this feature. And as you can see, the pro logo is not showing up anymore. And now the video has the original audio and I will mute the entire audio for this using the mute audio option. And you can find it in the timeline at the beginning of the video because you don't want to use the audio from the original video. Instead, we want to add the enhanced version from the screen recording. For this, let's go to audio then tap on extract and from my library I will select the screen recording, select it again and click on add. Now it has extracted the audio from the screen recording video and it placed it under the original video. Now I just want to make sure to cut out the silence from the beginning and match the sound to the places where I'm speaking. And I actually like to increase the volume a little bit. So that's it. Now we have the enhanced voice over our video and we can download the entire video for free with the voice enhanced. 
But if you want to go one step further, you can also add music to the background of your videos by using CapCut's built-in sound library. And you can choose from a bunch of pro and free sounds. So let's add some music to our video. It is super easy, just tap on audio and then tap on sounds to explore CapCut's awesome library. But I want to give you a friendly heads up. CapCut and TikTok are owned by the same company. So a lot of these tunes are TikTok friendly. And if you're planning to share your masterpiece on YouTube, you might want to be careful. Because using these songs on YouTube could lead to a copyright strike since you don't officially have the rights to use them. So if you want to avoid these copyright issues, I use Epidemic Sound because you can download copyright free music that is safe to use on other platforms. I will actually leave you my affiliate link below for a free trial if you want to check it out. They also have a website and a mobile app so you can download the music and import it into CapCut. But if you're only posting on TikTok, you can easily click on one of CapCut's songs and hit download and then the plus button to edit as an audio file in your video. You can use your finger to move the audio around, trim it to the spot you want and customize it further. There is also a volume button which is super important. Tap it to turn down the music so it doesn't overpower your voice. Now simply export it and the video is ready to be uploaded to your social media platforms. Great! You've learned a lot today. Now you can create amazing content by removing backgrounds and enhancing your voice using CapCut Pro features all for free. I hope this video was helpful. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. So you can keep improving your editing skills throughout the year. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Ciao!